Good evening. Welcome to our Lenten journey of recovery as we focus on health as an essential to our spiritual lives. Let's gather and sing. Beach glass begins as something whole and yet discarded. As it is tumbled by the sea, it is broken and polished until it becomes a treasured mineral gem. We do not embrace the idea that suffering is necessary or God-given, but that suffering is a part of life. When pain comes and brokenness enters our lives, Jesus reaches out to touch and remind us of the treasure that we all are, worthy of new life in the midst of hopelessness. In a year when pandemic has wreaked havoc on our world, we begin by affirming our journey to physical health. We are drawn to the healer, opening our hearts with honesty about our lives and finding assurance that offers peace. To do this, we acknowledge our need to restore our own holy vessels. Let us pray. Creator God, we are bodies fashioned by your hand in your own image shapes and colors of diverse and immense beauty. And yet too often we have ignored the sacred nature of our physical lives. The holy vessels you have fashioned are tired and suffering, ravaged by months of disrupted rhythms and ailment. Our fragility has come into full view and we are frightened. 
We cannot fathom the proportions of loss, and so we look away, sometimes even from our own needs. Help us, healer. Show us our strength. Forgive our inertia. Move us to move, one step at a time, toward greater care. In this silence, we sense and acknowledge our yearning for wholeness. scripture. Our contemporary word tonight comes from Joseph Campbell. He writes, it is by going down into the abyss that we recover the treasures of life. 
Where you stumble, there lies your treasure. And our ancient word from scripture tonight comes from Matthew, the eighth chapter, beginning with verse one. When Jesus had come down the mountain, great crowds followed him. And there was a leper who came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately, his leprosy was cleansed. And then Jesus said to him, see that you say nothing to anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. That evening, they brought to him many who were possessed with demons, and he cast out the spirits with a word and cured all who were sick. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took our infirmities and bore our diseases. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Sea glass, something that was whole, glass that was whole and yet discarded. It's not hard to think of a time when we felt, well, like we didn't fit in, <laughs> that we were left out of a group. Maybe you felt like you didn't belong. You felt like you weren't good enough. I think at some level we can feel empathy with the man with leprosy. He was socially exiled, feared, and even shunned. Can you imagine what it must have felt like when he returned to his worshiping community? What kind of hope and healing can our community of faith offer to others who are in pain, who are fearful, or who are lonely? Jesus reached out and touched the leper, an act that was against the law. It made Jesus unclean, but it made the leper whole, loved, welcomed, cured. How do we offer space for people to feel whole, welcomed, loved in our community of faith? In a contagious world, how do we not make fe people feel unclean? Jesus crossed social boundaries and let those who were shunned and feared know that they too were beloved, priceless treasures. Deuteronomy 14.2 reminds us that God says, The Lord has chosen you to be a people for his own treasured possession. God loves you with an everlasting love. I invite you now to pick up your piece of sea glass or a stone, something that you might have nearby. The words we heard from Jesus in this week's healing story were, I do choose, be made clean. Faced with a request and given the choice, Jesus chooses to say yes. And he says yes to each precious and treasured life. Recovered wholeness is offered to everyone. And it will look different for everyone. I invite you to take that piece of sea glass or stone and examine it closely. Notice its worn edges. Notice its color, its texture, its thickness. Where has it been rubbed hard and scratched? Where has it been polished? Examine it as a treasure that's completely unique. Every piece is unique. And then shift your thinking to your own rough edges. 
What broken edges in your own life need help? What will you do this Lent to focus on healing of body, mind, and spirit? Take a moment to think on this, and then when you're ready, and close the boat broken piece in your hand and hold it to your heart and just breathe deeply. Invite the spirit to live and move in you in a special way over the next six weeks. And keep your peace with you. Maybe keep it on your desk, on your nightstand, in a pocket, someplace where you either see it or feel it or can touch it regularly this week. God be with you. Amen. known. Hear our cries for healing of mind, body, and spirit. As demolished pieces that are treasured when found, we trust that beauty from brokenness is possible when we seek to bind together that which is wounded. We pray especially for those who have experienced the physical loss of family and friends in the pandemic, and for those who are still suffering the consequences of the illness. We pray for each person who suffers in body, mind, or spirit in other ways. Weariness from inactivity, weariness from overactivity. We pray for those who suffer isolation in their illness, whatever the cause may be.
Gracious God, in your love, make us whole. May we rest in your compassion. Calm the lost, weary soul in the warmth of your love. May your peace fill our hearts. May we know the love of Jesus. By your grace, you console. God, make us holy. Make us whole. Amen. Receive the blessing. Go with confidence as treasures of God, recovering your depth of love for all and our joy of living in this world. May the words of Jesus ring in your ears. I do choose. I do choose you. May the Spirit hover, move, and deliver salve to your soul and to spring to your step. Amen. <laughs>